This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We have a little bit of a mixed market going on. Dow Jones in the positive, 112 points, trading at 26,329. Rest of the indices in the red. We got the Russell, negative one point, trading at 1565. We got the NASDAQ, negative 26 points, trading at 7869. And the S&P's negative two points, trading at 2877. Oil, up 24 cents, trading at 62.69. Just saw a headline flash. First time Brent, Brent priced above $70. Quite a market in that oil market. Dollar index up 243 ticks, trading at 96.905. We'll start things off. And to put things in context percentage wise, you get the Dow up about four tenths percent. S&P's basically flat. NASDAQ negative about a third of percent. So a little bit of a mixed market across the board. Jumping over to the futures markets, we'll start it off with the S&P. Currently trading 28.76. Lows made just more than an hour ago of 28.71. Excuse me, NASDAQ 100 trading at 75.45. We're up there early this morning, approaching 7,600. Dow 30, and you can see the difference there. The Dow, uh, the only index bringing it back currently in the green. Well, S&P pretty close, but flat. And there's no real negative action as opposed to NASDAQ. We pulled back. S&P's pulled back. Dow just kind of hanging at these highs. 26,337. Gold contract claiming back most of those losses overnight into this morning. We were trading at 1284.95, up a solid $10 from that level, trading 1295.25. There's your crude oil chart, 6267. We spiked to a low of 6189 at around 1030. And natural gas trading a bit lower after EIA showing a surprise build of 23 billion cubic feet. Estimate was somewhere around 10 billion cubic feet. Some of the news stories out there, weekly jobless claims dropped to the lowest level since 1969. Seems like that's a repeating headline, right? Every week after week, the jobless claims drop. And uh, as I had mentioned as well, this update coming, Brent crude oil topping $70 for the first time since November as oil prices climb. Talk about a price not climbing. Tesla, first quarter delivery substantially worse than expected. And as you would expect from that, Tesla down about 8.3%, but a nice rebound from the 260 area it was trading at just this morning. Stay tuned. We got our man Dave White coming up right now with the Power Trading Hour, live from 2 till 3. Tom O'Brien, live from 3 till 5. Have a great Thursday, everybody.